Okay. That's not good. Did he find out any information about Darko Brevich yet? No. But he's working on it. You've got to help me. Got to? Huh. How? We're going to warn these bastards off. Come on! Ah... Uh. Go get us a car, sweetie. I want something big and awful and intimidating. All right, hon. The meat is on Walnut Way in Northwood. stands in the way of love. Love is strong enough to rip down mountains and throw trucks and all that stuff. Am I right? We're going to show them. Who's blackmailing you? We don't know. They won't even meet us themselves. This is just some flunky they're sending. We have to tell them to tell the boss we won't be pushed around. No way. him, not his rent, boys. Listen, you're going to speak to your boss and tell him to back off. <laughs> if that's the way you want to play it, fine. Bryce will be all over Visa News tomorrow morning. You know what? Maybe the best way to get a message to your boss is for me to send him your heart. Yeah, tough guy. How'd you like that? Dmitry Raskolov only asks once. Your lover's career is over. Fucking Dimitri! Life is over, Nico. This is terrible. What am I going to do? I need to be in my apartment now. Bye. Go get us a car, sweetie. I want something big and awful and intimidating. Cuts through skin. Bone. All right, 
ton. The meat is on Walnut Way in Northwood. Yuck! I can't even imagine where that is. I hope you know. I can find it. Have I told you about the first time I met Bryce? It was a foam party at Hercules. I was high on X and youth and beauty and I was dancing like I've never danced before. I was slave to the beat and I'd gone on the floor. Sure. Then it happened. Out of nowhere, I was struck. I saw his face through the bubbles and I knew every beautiful boy in El Gonquin was there that night, but he was the only one for me. I thought to myself, that middle-aged, closeted, married, sin-painting hypocrite, he's the man of my dreams! That's what people are trying to take away! That's love! Just meant to scare them? Well, that didn't work out so good, did it? At least they can't tell Dimitri about the meeting or go to the papers. Dimitri's too much of a wreck to go to the meeting himself. 
The information he has on Bryce is too valuable. It would kill Bryce if he didn't have his career. Maybe he should have thought about that when he started dating. Shut up now. You don't need me telling you about your life. I don't normally talk this much. I'm your friend, and I will try to help.
Shit! Police! Look after yourself, yeah? I hope Demetri and his people back off now. Thank you so much, Nico. I'll speak to you soon. Hey, bud, what's up? I know. Speak up, bro. Out at all? I've only just finished our last date. Another time. No problem. other ones you screw, right? No, certainly not. They were just distractions from my one true love. I proposed to Mallory, Nico. She said she would marry me. Now all we need is to find you a wife, and we can all settle down happily ever after. I'm working on it, cousin. There's this girl I like. She's called Kate McCreary. I'll invite her to the wedding! You don't even know her, Roman, so please, try not to embarrass me. Congratulations on the engagement. Thank you, cousin! How is it going, man? Don't shoot at me now! Catch you later!
What do you want, Dimitri? I always thought that there was something not quite right about you, Nico. Now that I hear you are friends with bright stockings and burning crane, I know what it is. Stop blackmailing my friends, Dimitri. You do not want to anger me more. Persuade them to give up the contract. We can work together. I will cut you in, Nico. Let's be friends. I made the mistake of working with you before. It's not one I'll repeat. On, you know you Goodbye. This is some crazy weather, huh? I saw that way. Was everyone okay? Wow. This fucking town. This is women purely on the... What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out! Jesus! You know Derek's not well? No? No. He's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight, making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me! Well, tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughing stock. Cop with the famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not this. Not this. Uh, you got the big problem then. Me? Uh -uh. We, my friend. We. You stop it. Stop? Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lancet. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy. Not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. I think I can make the meeting. You gotta take him out before he makes the move. This is Cain and Abel stuff, I'm telling you. Question is, which one of us is gonna be wandering the earth with a mark on his head, and who's gonna be six feet under, you know? This phone's running out of battery, shit! Look after me, Nico. I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice, but neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. 